Hey guys, Dr. Nate here at Thrive Dental and Orthodontics, and I wanna to talk to you about something that's kinda of weird that we don't like to really talk about too much, but that is why we take out teeth for braces. So first off, let me kind of explain this, that I am a, is this a word, an anti-tooth taker outer? But I wanna still explain to you why I unfortunately have to take out teeth Sometimes, so I'm gonna go through the three top reasons why we take out teeth with braces. And remember, I'm putting out videos every single week and I'm doing this for you guys so you can get more informed and educated on anything to do with orthodontics. So if you have any value on this, please subscribe, please like, please leave some comments. And I'm trying my best to kind of answer all those comments as best I can. All right, so key the theme music. And as we come back, I'm gonna to talk to you about the three main reasons we take out teeth for braces. So the question is this, how do we get better, more informed patients and run successful businesses? How can I get the information I've learned from opening multiple dental offices and treating thousands of patients out to you? Those are the questions and my weekly videos will give you the answers. My name is Dr. Nate and welcome to the Thrive Dental and Orthodontics channel. All right guys, Dr. Nate here. So yes, let's talk to you about why we take out teeth for braces. And remember, I don't enjoy, I don't love taking out teeth, but there are kind of three main reasons we take out teeth. Let me walk you through this right now. So some people may say that, you know, I've been somewhere and I don't need to take out teeth because can't I just expand and do all this crazy stuff? You can sometimes fit in all the teeth without taking out anything. But what happens is the teeth start to get really far forward and you kind of look like you have buck teeth. So a lot of times we'll give the patients, you know, that, that option I'll say hey we don't need to take out teeth we can align the teeth first and you can kind of see how you like it if you feel like the teeth are too protruded then we can actually take out teeth in the future so that's why I try to do the majority of the time the majority of the time I align all the teeth first so every patient, mom, dad, patient, whoever, can see what the results look like without taking out teeth. Because obviously, as soon as you take out teeth, they are not going back in there. So I like to make sure that we're all on the same page. You can see exactly what your teeth are gonna look like without taking out teeth. That being said, there's three main reasons we take out teeth and let's kind of walk you through those. Let's walk through the first easiest example because this is the most common one and there is like just no space. There's no space. So you can tell like a canine is up here and another tooth is over here and you have an impacted tooth over here and it's very, very obvious. You know, the patient knows, mom, dad, whoever knows, there's just no space for the teeth. So that one's pretty obvious. That is pretty easy. If it's on the top and the bottom, we'll probably take out two top teeth and two bottom teeth and there you go. That's just kind of making space for those teeth. The one of the most common questions people ask me is, you know, what happens when those teeth are taken out? Like, are, am I gonna be left with spaces or anything afterward? And of course the answer is no. I'm not gonna take out teeth and then leave with spaces. That'd be not good, not smart, not good business. So what happens is we take out those teeth and then because everything's so crowded, the other teeth just kind of fall into place with the aid of braces and, and take up those spaces so there's nothing left at the end. No spaces left at the end, just for your information. All right guys, so that is reason number one. Just super duper crowded, there's no room for any of the teeth, so we have to take out some teeth. That's the easiest one. All right, second reason we take out teeth uh, if you have braces, and that is because sometimes the top teeth are sticking out way too much. All right, so we have a couple options. We call that an overjet. Some people would say that's a big overbite, but if the top teeth are sticking out too much, you really have two main ways, there's a lot of ways, but two main ways to fix it. One is to wear rubber bands, you know, and the rubber bands will basically bring these lower teeth forward to meet up with the top teeth. So sometimes that's good, sometimes we want that. You know, the lower teeth kind of come forward because maybe they're too far back and it looks really good. Cool, you do not need to take out teeth. The second way to fix it is to take out upper top teeth and bring them back so it meets with the bottom teeth. So that's the second reason, you know, the top teeth are sticking out. We say, hey, it feels like these top teeth are just like buck teeth, they're way too far out. Do we want to bring them back? Mom and dad, patient go, yes, we want to bring those top teeth back. So that's when we say, okay, let's take out two top teeth and bring everything back. Right now, that brings us kind of sort of to the third reason we're taking out teeth. And just like I was mentioning the second time is that we're trying to bring top teeth back to kind of meet up with the bottom teeth. Sometimes the top and the bottom teeth are too far forward. And you may have seen this and people really feel like they have buck teeth or their teeth are kind of splayed out and flared out and protruded out like that. And the only real good way to bring them back, to kind of bring them so they're not so protruded, so they're more straight up and down is to take out two top teeth and two bottom teeth. And so we'll just kind of bring it all back. And the same thing I mentioned in the first option or the first reason, you're not gonna be left with spaces. That is not what we do. We close up all those gaps and we allow those top and bottom teeth to come 
backwards to look more straight up and down. All right guys, there you have it. That is easy peasy. That is the three main reasons we take out teeth uh, for braces. Number one, super duper crowding. It's pretty obvious to everybody. You just can't fit all the teeth in your mouth. That is the easiest one. Reason number two, top teeth are sticking out too much. We don't want to bring those lower teeth forward. We say, hey, let's bring those top teeth back. Boom. Let's take out a couple top teeth. Third reason is both the top and the bottom teeth are really flared forward. We want to bring everything back. So we'll take out two top teeth and two bottom teeth. There you guys go. That is the reason we're taking out teeth if you have braces. And that hopefully is going to answer some of your questions. And these are questions I get pretty much every single day. So as you know, I'm putting out videos every single week. So please subscribe, please like, please leave a comment. And I'll do my best to answer all your questions and comments below. So I will see you guys next week.